All right, so Abby is sharing her screen so we can follow along with her. All right. Mm -hmm. But she's going to have her picture there, too, so you can see her. <laughs> yeah. and talk to her if you have a question. Hi, my name is uh, my name is Abby, and this is obviously Adobe Illustrator. Uh, when you download it uh, from the Creative Cloud, it's going to pop up. And then I'm going to show you kind of some things before you open a project, um, because sometimes you, depending on what project you're going to be doing, um, they'll probably tell you what settings to put in before you open a document. So you can have items that are from the Creative Cloud that you can add, but we're not going to worry about that yet. I'm going to create new. And then you can see at the top, you can make an image for mobile, for web, for print, film, video, art, and illustration. I'm just going to go for print. And then you can name your, um, your document or you can name it after you save it or before you save it, but I'm just going to put it pumpkin because it's, it's the first day of fall. So uh -huh. I'm just going to do a little fall themed. Um, make sure, depending on what document you do it to, you want to make sure the image size is the right size before you do anything. I'm just going to put eight by 10 because that's standard, standard print size. And then Again, depending on what you're going to be doing, you either want to do CMYK, that's for print, um, or RGB, that's for like web. Um, I'm going to keep this at uh, 300 PPI, which is basically the re resolution, which usually you don't have to worry too much about that in Illustrator because it it is a vector based program. And what that means is each shape that you make can be expanded and shrunk um, infinitely without losing its um, structure, basically. So it's not going to be pixelated or anything like that. So you really want to know what kind of um, options you're going to need before you open a file. You can change it later, but it's just easier this way. So, okay. So this program is pretty much all about shapes. So we're going to start with that. Um, I'm going to start with the rectangle tool, or it has multiple different functions. Um, I'm going to start with the ellipse tool which you can make it however kind of ellipse you want. Or if you want to make a perfect um, shape, then you hit shift and then you drag and that'll make a perfect circle. Unless you, <laughs> oh, let's see. okay, you gotta <laughs> let the click go off first. And then what you can do is you can change the inside uh, color of the shape. I'm just going to make that orange. And then this is the direct selection tool. Um, if you don't know what this does, this just moves the shape. And then the direct selection tool, you can go in and I'm just hitting control and then the plus sign. This you can click and you can change any part of the shape. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna move that back. And for anyone who doesn't know, the to zoom in and zoom out, the hotkeys are for Windows, it's control plus or control minus, or I believe it is for Mac, it's um, command. Command. Thank you. Same idea. Just command plus, command minus. It's in the Basically, same it's the in the board. same area. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. So the next thing I'm going to show is I'm going to make actually two more circles. 
I'm just going to put them wherever I want. And then I'm going to use the selection tool and I'm going to kind of place them together. Oh, also, if you don't see these um, strokes, then there is a, hold on, I can, there we go. I believe there is a way to, oh, sorry, the, the, <laughs> the screen share thing is, is getting in the way. Let me see. Okay. Um, if I can, I will go back to that later because sometimes oh, yeah. it doesn't automatically show up. Mm -hmm. You can move that screen share thing over to. Oh, cool. On your screen. Yeah. Just grab it and move it. Oh, cool. Thank you. Here, I'm going to put this at the bottom, actually. That's perfect. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to size these up. Also, um, if you just click the corner just by itself it'll transform like that however you pull it but if you hit shift if you hit shift and then drag it then it keeps its shape so that's that's very important mm -hmm. okay so i am going to put these together and then um if you don't have it on the screen there is a line and that will show up here and you can you can take it off you can put it on your little sidebar so that you have it where you need there we go okay so i'm going to um it automatically comes up with pathfinder so you're just going to hit pathfinder and then the unite so you have to select two objects and then hit unite and then it'll <laughs> unite them together and you can do the same thing for this one and then it will make a whole new shape that you can alter now i'm not going to make this perfect but then you can rotate it okay and then here is the star tool now the thing about the star tool is you can click and drag it, drag it, and then if you hit the up arrow or down arrow, it'll add or subtract different points. So I'm just going to make, and that's how you make a triangle. And I think if you, nope, you can't go past that. But that's what we want. Okay, so I'm going to put this little triangle dude right here. And the cool thing about the pathfinder as well as you can select these two objects and then minus front and it'll cut it out <laughs> so again it alters it so you can cut out or add to make a whole new shape there are also different settings but usually you'll just use these two so i'm gonna add Two more because I want a little nose. Okay. Make that a little smaller. <laughs> now, if you were to put both in and then you try to do just to unite two of them, then it'll cut out one of them. So I would suggest each time putting in one shape at a time. Oh, that's, that's what I'm doing. Hold on one second. If you cut out. Oh, no, never mind. I was wrong. I'm so just going to cut do, these in. You can do two shapes and cut them out of one shape? Yeah. Huh? Maybe he was doing something different yesterday. <laughs> that's the program. <laughs> All right. Now what you can also do is right under the shaper tool is the pencil tool. And what this tool does is you can make any kind of line and then it'll make a shape. And you can add an inside color to it. 
and you can make any kind of color you want. But what I'm going to do is instead of making preset shapes and then cutting them out, what you could do is, and I have a little pen, so I'm, I have a little bit more direction, but what you can do is freehand a shape <laughs> and then this is this is going to be kind of the bulk of what you're going to be doing in the program is you can take the direct selection tool and you can move any of these what uh what we call anchor points and handles and here i'll show you a little bit more in depth of what i'm talking about so the squares are the anchor points and they are where a part of the line starts and stops and then these are the handles and that's how the curvature of the line is and what you can do with one of these handles is if you want to make a sharp corner then you could take a handle and then put it right up to that anchor point and only alter one of the anchor points and then it'll be a straight corner. Also, if your line is looking very uh, not as clean, what you can do is you can take the add anchor point or delete anchor point. Now, if you want to, if you need to Okay, so the reason you would add an anchor point is if you want to have more variation in line. But if you want a smoother curve, you want less anchor points. So usually what you're doing, if you free create a shape, then if you want it something perfectly round, you would add or sorry, take away anchor points. And then you would simply alter the curve and it will be much smoother. So if you want more variation, add. If you want less variation in the line, I would definitely suggest taking out. Like this has too many, cause I want this to be straight. So I'm gonna take these two out. That's a really good point because mm -hmm. honestly, um, a lot of things you want to draw, like you want it to look perfect, like a logo. Yeah. But also because this is a pumpkin, it looks more like you actually carved it in. Yeah. <laughs> if you kind of leave it with extra points, but it, it's not going to look as neat. 